Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have a brand new Fenty Beauty Skin Tint Ease Drop. And uh, I got this in the shade 18. I got the very last one. So yeah, this is a hot pink. Um, I've already got my primer and my brows on. So now I'm just going to jump right on in and just do it. I've already shaken this up, but I'm going to do it again on camera. Because it says shake well. Um, let's see what it says. It's a light to medium coverage and it's for all skin tones, blends and blurs to instant perfection. And it's light as air. We're going to see if I like this. I will. Who am I kidding? It's Fenty. All right. So I'm going to start off light. It doesn't have a scent as far as I can smell. Let me see. And I'm going to use my fingers first because like... I'm going to see if I like that. More than likely not. And if I don't like it, I have my brushes and sponges on standby. So I'm just going to rub that in. Okay. That's nice. Whoa. Oh my gosh, wait. Hmm. Hmm, yeah. I don't have no scent. So that's going to be good. Ooh. So that is just for the few drops. I don't like using my fingers because it just feels weird and I can't I can't do it. <laughs> it's a texture thing. I don't like the texture. It's like a it's slippery, but it feels like it has like a powder in here as well. So I'm gonna switch over to my brush. Let's see if that gives a difference. Okay, so I just did one side of my face. And this is the coverage that little bit gave. Hmm. I'm gonna do my other side now. And I like the doggone shape of the bottle too. I've never seen anything like that. One thing about Fenty, they gonna reinvent a bottle. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna do same thing here. Yeah, I like using a brush. And this is a really good match. Shocker there, Drea. <laughs> Get it underneath my mouth, around my mouth here. Make sure I take it all the way up to my hairline. That's not a bad shade match. Hey, I guess the last one is the right one. <laughs> I know that's right. <laughs> my little sister hate when I say that, but it's my favorite thing to say. All right, this is what like one pump on each side of your face looks like. Boom. I'm gonna get in here. I should do my forehead too, but this is like a perfect. This is like the best match I've ever had, ever. Hmm. You can see here. This is wonderful. I thought I was gonna have to like concoct this and make it work, but nothing of that nature has to happen. Wow, this is a really good shade match. I do know my shades. <laughs> yes, thank God. Yeah! Wow. And now I'm gonna look at it on my little mirror I have here so I can see what it's like up close. Yeah. Wow. Okay. I'm going to go in with the second um, coat and see if I like. Let's see how much it builds up. All right. Let's see. Using the brush again because I cannot use my finger. Same amount. This time I put a little bit on my forehead too. Boom. I'm going to do one section at a time because I don't know if this is going to be like matte or dry down or whatnot. There we go. There's my coverage there. Yeah, this is nice and buildable. Get down the center of my nose. 
get my forehead. Let me get my mirror real quick so I can make sure this is right. Get my hairline here. Hmm. I don't even think I want to set this with anything just to see what it looks like by itself on its own. I think that may be what I'm going to do. Here's the second coat of the um, Ease Drop by Fenty. I love, love that. I love how durable it is. So this is, the, this is two coats here. And then this is one coat. So like, I like a full coverage. So I'm gonna just make this side match this side. And look at that. It's beautiful. Rihanna, one thing about y'all, y'all gonna do the darn thing. That's one thing about Fenty. I wonder what y'all gonna come up with next. Comment down below what you think Fenty gonna like come up with next. Do you think it's gonna be a hair care product? Do you think it's gonna be furniture? Do you think, cause she already dominating the fashion industry. I wonder if she gonna come out with another perfume. Mm. That's a nice look, especially now that summer's here. Everybody getting their vaccine shots. I already got mine, my arm is sore. I got the Johnson & Johnson one, so I only need one dose. There we go. All right, let me make sure everything is blended out evenly. I like this. I like this a lot. The match was perfect. It was the last one. Shouts out to you, Lord. Thank you. I mean, like, the more you blend it in, the better it looks. Like, it don't even look like I got nothing on. You know what I'm saying? Like, it look like I got just skin. Dewiness. Y'all know I love me a good beat, a good bass. Oh, my Lord. I love a good bass. There we go. Perfect. And I got it. Right there. Okie dokie. I'm going to do a little cute concealer. Um, I'm using the Fenty. What else is there? <laughs> the Pro Filter Instant Retouch Concealer. And I think I got this in 430. I don't know if this is going to be too orange. Let me see. Is she orange? She orange. I need to get my lighter concealer because this just feels weird. Because I look like an egg. Let me be right back to y'all. Excuse me. Hi. All right. So I got my concealers, the Born This Way by Too Faced. And I got this in the shade Butterscotch. And I have my Milani uh, Concealer Perfect Lone Wear Concealer. And this is in the shade 160 Warm Tan. My Too Faced. Perfect. I'm use my little cute um, Nime Beauty blending sponge, which I love. This little here, um, as you can see, she she been she been used today. <laughs> I'm just gonna blend out the bottom half of my face first. Actually, let me do this little cute TikTok hack. I mean, I've always done it, but I want to do it on camera. Boom. Mm. And that was the Milani Make It Zooey. Boom. Setting spray. So my wig in my mouth. All right, go in with my concealer brush again. Love this thing, it's by e.l.f. And just blend her together, girl. Making sure everything is cohesive and together. Yeah, I don't think this have a scent. <laughs> Get it all the way up my nose. <laughs> yeah. 
Okay. Here's everything all together. And of course, I don't have no setting powder on whatsoever. Do I want to set this with anything? So I'm going to set a little bit of my face with a soft matte powder foundation. <laughs> Fenty Beauty in the shade 390 in certain parts of my face not all of it this is what the shade looks like for reference go in with my Fenty Beauty bronzer <laughs> there she is she is well loved by might I add in the shade Caramel Cutie boom and just for reference I'll show you what it looked like here she is in its natural light take a little couple taps of this just put that right up in there just so I can have something Let me get this all done and did and off, girl. Let me uh clean off my my station real quick, and I'll be right back and give y'all my final thoughts. Peace. All right, guys. This is the final look of the new Ease Drop by Fenty Beauty. Here it is. Here's the packaging, of course, and everything. This is what the component looks like. This is the shade um, 18. It was the very last one in my Sephora, so I was very grateful, very thankful. To have been able to find it i love it it's lightweight it's buildable buildable coverage um it doesn't have a scent to me um what else does it have it doesn't have really like a texture thing it doesn't feel like a silicone mixture it just feels like a a really good lotion with a hint or a few drops of like your favorite foundation um i end up i started off using my fingers i didn't like that personally but then i switched over to my brushes and my sponges and this is the final result of it I've never had such a beautiful match. Like this is legitimately my complexion in a bottle. 10 out of 10 with that for me, for Fenty. I absolutely, y'all got the freaking shade down to a science. Y'all got the other foundation companies shook. Um, Yeah, it's 29.50, you get 32 milliliters or 1.8 fluid ounces here. Um, It was available online, I think on Friday. Child, I forget. Then I remember, I said, oh, I can go get it on Saturday. Everybody was at the doggone beauty stand or um, at the Fenty counter. I was like, please move. Let me get it. Let me go through. Got it. Paid for it. Immediately came home, put it on my face. And this is her. So if you're kind of debating or if you're my shade, I recommend shade 18. Um, shade 16 was too, too, too. I mean, too doggone, too warm. This one is regular warm, and the, I think shade 16 might be warm yellow. That one was a little too light for me, and it made me look like I was almost a little bit um, like a ghost, like a gray coverage. So this was perfect, and I'm very, very thankful to have been able to use it. Um, I did try to pair it with my Fenty concealer in the shade 430, but this is too orange. So I ended up using my Milani concealer and my Too Faced concealer in the shade Butterscotch for the um, Too Faced and uh, warm tan by milani that was just a little bit underneath my eyes um on my lips i have the fenty what's this gloss balm cream and the shade honey waffles and then i also topped it off with a little bit of the fenty gloss and the shade hot chocolate so yeah fenty face not friday but fenty face saturday that's what we're gonna call it <laughs> thank y'all so much for watching my videos i appreciate it thank you so much for getting my last youtube video up to 600 views tuning in i appreciate it subscribe if you want to comment down below what you think um what your thoughts are on the new eavesdrop skin tint by fancy beauty tell me what you like about it tell me what you don't like about it tell me about the shade ranges how you think the number system work talk to me <laughs> thank y'all so much and i appreciate it see you later